Okay, I'm Paul Gilmore. I'm the head of urology at Peninsula Health. Um, I've worked at Peninsula Health now for 14 years and I've been the head of urology here for the last seven. Prostate cancer is a form of epithelial or skin cancer which affects the skin lining inside the gland of the prostate and the prostate itself is a little gland that is within men. The biggest risk factor for prostate cancer is aging and being male. There are other risk factors including if other family members have prostate cancer, especially brothers, fathers and other relatives. There's also a risk if there's a history of breast cancer in the family as well. Prostate cancer develops within the prostate and is picked up on a number of different tests including the blood test that your GP would provide called the PSA or prostate specific antigen. PSA itself isn't harmful, it just seems to leak out more into the blood in certain diseases of which prostate cancer is one of them and that's why prostate cancer is generally readily picked up for investigation on a PSA test with your GP. Prostate cancer itself has very few symptoms, especially when it's early and localised within the prostate. Often men go to see the doctor for symptoms of benign prostate disease, such as problems with their waterworks, either going too often, not enough, or not being able to pass urine satisfactorily. Prostate cancer itself only really causes symptoms when it's picked up late. So it's either spread to the bones or some of the lymph nodes, which are little glands that drain the prostate. Then it can cause symptoms, but at that point, prostate cancer isn't curable. With donations from Take a Break, we'll be able to afford more modern probes to replace some of our outgoing probes that we've been using for several years and this will help continue to provide the quality of service that we've got for men with prostate cancer.